What is up, sirs and madams? This is Matthew back for another week of reacting. Uh, we are we are in the final sprint. We've got we've got the final three episodes. This is volume eight, chapter twelve, creation, and um, shit's real. Shit's been real. Shit is continuing to get real, and uh, we are. I feel like we're about to take the plunge. I'm excited to see I'm excited to see so many things I'm I'm wondering what the military of Atlas is going to morph into because obviously we're making moves at this point that people cannot um, take back Ironwood is pulling out all his chips and he seems he seems like he's on a very self-destructive path I feel like it's the easy choice to say that he's going to kick the bucket, noble sacrifice, go evil, die. But I'm wondering if there's any way he can make it out of this alive. Uh, but we'll just have to see. So we're going to get on with it in... Well, I'm not going to count down. Um, and go. Creation. That word is very powerful. So I feel like... I don't know. We've got two relics. We've got three powerful sides. Four, because I'm considering Neo and Cinder to be their own thing. So it's very possible that at this point we'll have um, we'll just have a four-way showdown. And it's gonna be messy. I I expect death. We all expect death. Um, <laughs> well, maybe not everyone. I feel like this show is very generous with the people they let live and die. But I don't know, man. I don't know. There's so there's too many possibilities for me to keep up with that are not like full crackpot theories that have the ability to come true with with everyone at this point. Characters like Neo, Emerald, Cinder, Ironwood, Watts, Penny. So many people have been put into the spotlight for growth that it would be a big blow if they died, so. I feel like nothing except for Crow and the main four girls are sacred. Like, those are the only five characters? Maybe Jean. I feel like those five are, like, the only sacred ones. So let's let's fucking see. I don't know. I'm, I'm just here. Why does he have a big-ass gun? Jesus Christ. And then there's Ultron. There's just the Ultron possibility that we drop a fucking city. Oh Be my god. For anything. We don't know what state Penny is in. If any of those brats have the nerve to come with her, we put them down immediately. The general gave his terms. No more games. <sighs> is there a problem? Just retracing the steps that led us here. <sighs> what is it, sir? Crow and Robin. They're in the Academy hangar. Trying to stop the payload. Or just looking for a way out. Not going to happen. I've been waiting to take my shot at those two. Let's go. You're not ourselves. gonna win. But someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. We lose the payload, we lose our leverage. Correct. She's right. Contain it. Now. That's a much more dangerous fight. I don't think Crow and Robin can beat those three. Sir, this course of action. I hope you're not going to try to talk me out of it. No, sir. I don't think that's possible. Okay. I didn't think you'd actually come alone. I expected at least some resistance from your friends. I don't want anyone else to die. I must... Oh, people are good. 
People are gonna die. You've done the right thing. I have. Uh oh, that's not weird. Very We're just fucking in it. Alright, we are here to fight. Yeah, there's no way even these two can beat, what, five? Six? Oh, oh yes, sir! Nice. That's a fair fight. Jesus, he's strong. Oh, is that? Oh, that feels like Ospin. Yeah! That's what you love to see. Ooh, Sorry, Ooh guys, that's a good guitar. We riff. don't want to fight. We didn't want to drop Atlas. Yo, that we was so much that some just happened. Calls, huh? Go, move to phase two. Guys, oh. she has to go to the vault. That's a way. That's actually a risk we haven't considered. We've been so worried about keeping the vault closed that we never considired using what's inside. The Ironwood can stay alive if he's just Maybe out of commission. That's a way he stays alive. And Atlas and Mantle back to safety. Well, you'll never guess who I just heard from. Big <gasps> sis. So you're not. Oh, she looks pissed. No. She looks fucking pissed. Ironwood's got to be stopped. Then why did you hit me? Because you were about to get killed if I didn't do something. Correct. You're about to get fucking shot. What are you doing? I'm glad this animation is well, coming back. Does this slapsticky? Getting in touch with my sister. It's nice. We're going to need help. Uh, it's it's nice. It makes this show have. Yeah, I fucking knew it. I Speaking fucking knew help. it. So we've got people trapped in Atlas and Mantle that we can't I call that shit. Unless we use the staff. But that's I mean, it's which not a big is deal, located but... inside the vault. If we open the vault, Penny terminates. If Ironwood gets wind of any of this, he blows up Mantle. There's something else to consider. Once the staff creates anything else, the city drops. Atlas has enough natural gravity dust to keep it from plummeting immediately, but, well, nobody's going to want to be around when it touches down. Okay, then let's use the staff to teleport everyone to safety. Maybe even to another kingdom. We can't just wave it like a magic wand and make our problems go away. And we haven't even told you about him. Who? The spirit and the staff. Like oh, Jim. right. Uh, well, he's a character. He can build you anything, but only if you can explain to him how. Like any craftsman, he'll need blueprints. Some sort of reference. It'll help if we have real-world examples to show him. I've already gone through the city layouts for the SDC evacuation. Maybe I can help. There's still James and his bomb to consider. Oh, I've got a plan for that. So, that takes care of phase one. Meanwhile, the real penny goes to the vault. With help. I blasted a hole through the bottom of Atlas, and I highly doubt they've had time for repairs. That should take you straight to it. Hmm. Oh, there is something to be said. That's the easy part. That as as obviously. I the door, we go through, I'll, I'll talk about it after the and episode. Stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay? I don't think Penny's making out of this. If Penny makes it out of this season alive, I will be very impressed. Just like I think if Ironwood makes it out of this season alive, I will be very impressed. They're just dashing. Right, freeze spirit. What does this one look like? Is he a hunk? Show me the babs. Uh, 
Oh, hell yeah. Come to engage my creative wilds. Oh, he's beautiful. All I'll say is it had better be worth it after my last project. Uh. Floating city? <laughs> How pedestrian. Hi, uh, Mr. Ambrosius. Uh, sir. Ambrosius? Yes, sir. She's dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead, so... That's not what we want. She's... Not your typical girl. He's curious. So she isn't. I I'd love to meet whoever did this. Ah, I see. There's something eating away to her. I'm, I'm guessing you think you have some clever plan to save her. Just know. I will give you exactly what you ask for, and I don't want any complaining when it's This is the be careful what you ask for wish. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her. Whoa. Using her exact same robot parts. Whoa. That was new body. curiously worded, girl. An exact copy of her would include the virus. An exact copy of her without the virus would cease to exist the second you make something else. And we kind of want to keep her around longer than that. You've done your homework. Well played. We want you to create a new version of her. Using her existing robotic parts. Taking the virus with them. Hmm. Okay, but if I take the robot parts out of her, that would leave... Penny. The girl who's always been there underneath it. The soul. Hmm. You can't destroy. It's against the rules. But you wouldn't be destroying her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... extra. But a soul without a complete body, what would be left? I don't know. I guess you just have to get creative. <laughs> I suppose I could do a little... Well played. ...add a touch-up. But if I do that, how much of the old penny would be my work and how much would be her? Just coming up to the surface. This is all very exciting and very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the results are going to be. We don't have any other options. We believe in her. We have to try. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry. Adonis. Very sun god. I get a lot of like Helios sun god vibes. Oh, I want this to fucking work. If this works, Penny stays alive. Do you know how happy that would make me with Penny being my second favorite character? It's done. That was fast. I felt, mm, come on. I guess that's the signal then. Things are moving forward in the vault. Hopefully Penny is going to be okay. If Atlas is moving, we need to get word out before people panic. Meaning hurry. I know, I know. Okay, this should be, um... That did, uh... Something? You're live. Everyone nice. can see you. Oh! Uh, um... <clears throat> citizens of Atlas. Mantle. What we have to tell you is very important. Atlas is falling. But... Oh, is that what? Wait, Fail what safe? happened? It's dead. The entire CCT. It just went down. And so did kingdom-wide communications. How? The bigger question is, what do we do now? That yeah, I guess you're running out of time. Is, falling. is that true? Yes. We're using the staff to get everyone to safety. Salem can have the rubble. We'll all be long gone. Fair. Are you Abandoned the city. Are you going to leave me here? No. When we're finished, we'll move both of you to safety. Oh, Winter. Thank you. Oh, I... Don't thank me. It was Weiss's decision. Yeah, it's fucking right. Interesting. Oh, okay. Penny? Human. Watch it go boom. Uh, 
I don't know how to feel about this. I good overall. Human. Are you okay? I just didn't realize what exactly that entailed. Do hugs always make you feel this warm inside? Yes. Wow. Oh, yay! We should probably make sure our theory works. <sighs> and start the evacuation. Sweet. My heart. Ah, free to create and... Oh, it's, uh, it's it you guys. Again. We're Damn. not done with you yet. Ugh, fine. Let's try the quick version. Can you make a bunch of doorways in Atlas that open at a single spot in vacuo? Sure! I'll just need coordinates and specs for each door and explanation for bending space and time to account for the much greater traffic on one side and the single point of exit on the other. Okay, that's about what we expected. So, we need to funnel everybody through a central location first. You're gonna have to tell me more about this central location for starters. Uh, where is it? Here. Building does. like... These vaults, wherever they are, they're not part of Remnant. Only accessible if you know the right way in. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. You kids are either smarter or much more foolish than you realize. I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. Good job they did their homework. You love to see... Okay. Creation. Jesus. That is beautiful. You need to go. Walk through the fucking doors. People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side. And leave on the other side with a one-way ticket to Vacuo. Well, everything appears to be in order. You were quite thorough. Yeah. Disappointingly so. Yeah. I bet he likes so, when people do things wrong. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Holy oh, and crap. One last point of clarification about this. God damn it. Central location of yours. Do not fall. Reasonable. Okay, and with that dire warning. You fall into the the void. Well, we did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now. We go to Vacuo. All of us. And hope that we've thought of everything. God damn it. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. Okay, so what I was going to say much earlier in the episode is that, don't get me wrong, it's very obvious that the good guys have the chip stacked against him. But Salem's side has, like, what, five heavy hitters on it? And Ironwood's people have, if before this episode we included Ironwood and the Aesops and Winter, five or six people. The good guys have, like, almost 12, 13 people in combined resources. I feel like... I feel like those numbers should have started to do something. And I was so happy to see that this episode was kind of the culmination of when you put enough good minds together, you beat strength in the few, at least for now. Oh, and then in Cinder's case, there's like, what, three people? Like, numbers-wise, the good guys, hand and foot, have more people, more minds put together. And I know they're kids, but they've they've clearly done enough shit to where they're like well into adults by just life experience. So 
man, that was good. That was a good time. Um, I love, <laughs> I love, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, I've already forgotten it. Uh, Mr. Creation. Um, I love his attitude. I love his spunk. I love, I love that he's chaotic enough to where he like almost prefers people to get things wrong and kind of just teach the lesson of just like, this is what you get when you don't think through things enough. Um, so that was cheeky as hell. Um, this is the most unforeseen answer that I could have, that I could have seen, you know, maybe it's just cause I didn't know the parameter parameters, obviously on like how the staff was going to be used, but man, uh, just portaling everybody out of mantle and taking them to vacuo seems good. If Cinder's there, I can't tell if she's going to try to gain power by by just throwing people into the void or using the cover of people to sneak up and steal the staff or to just kill Ruby because I think I think I think that's what Neo's revenge plan is. So obviously there's going to be a cover situation here that's hopefully going to work, but I don't know. This is, I don't, I don't know. Ugh. And Ironwood got knocked the fuck out, so maybe he's out of commission. Maybe Winter said she was going to save, yeah, she was going to get, like, Papa Schnee out of there. She's probably going to grab Ironwood in the process, but who knows, you know, if if sacrifices need to be made and you need to get rid of one or two things, Papa Schnee and Ironwood fall pretty low on the priority list, I think. So, um, fuck. That's been Chapter 12, Creation. Um, I've been Matthew from Sirs and Madams, and I will see you all the next week for more bullshit <laughs> shenanigans and everything in between. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. I've been really enjoying the season. It's been kind of, it's been so different. So I've, you probably noticed I've had to figure out how to adjust and acclimate. Uh, but thank you all for sticking with it. I will see you all next week. Peace.